Utah International Festival of the Arts. Oh, it's a gorgeous day today. Can't wait. Let's go have some fun. Woo! Hey, everybody. Hello. Today we are at Epcot here at Walt Disney World for the Festival of the Arts. It's the very first day. First day. It's January 14th, 2022. So it's very busy, as you can see. There's a lot of people oh, coming yeah. to the park, the traffic, like getting in at the Auto Plaza. Plaza. It, we waited a little bit, so it's a lot of people are here. We're excited though. We've got our festival passport. The festival is January 14th through February 22nd this year, so it's not that long. This festival. Yeah, and it's so. every day. So um, they say that the, some of the booths will be open depending on availability and things like that. So, but your passport will show you everything that they got going on here today. They have some um, different art mm -hmm. things you can watch. They have some live music. So there's a lot to do. So let's see what we can do. So that's some fun. Woo! <laughs> we are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. So here on the wall is the expression section. Is there going to be a paint by numbers mule, mural? Sorry, and they give everyone paint and a paintbrush, and you paint. Thank you. Uh, they give you a few uh, squares to paint on the wall, and then it becomes one giant picture that everyone all paints together. It's super cool. It's not open yet though. You see these figment popcorn buttons? Buckets. There is a line about a mile long. Goes way all the way back over there from here for these figment popcorn buckets. They are super cute. They are cute, but are you kidding? That's going to be like a two hour line. Wow. They're cute though. So this is where they're selling the popcorn bucket. Is at the Pop Eat stand where they have the tomato soup and the grilled cheese. But this is also where they sell the popcorn buckets, 25 bucks, and all these people are in line for it. Wow. Right here in the Canada Pavilion, the booth is Gourmet Landscapes, and this is what they got going on here. We have a blood orange braised beet carpaccio, roasted bone marrow, and wild mushroom risotto. Here's some of the pictures. <laughs> I mean, bone marrow sounds interesting, yeah. but we will not be trying that. Nope. <laughs> Oh, these are the drinks I got. But the booths aren't open yet, so we're gonna keep on going. Yeah, we're figuring maybe they open at 11. The park did open yeah. at 10 today, so maybe the booths open at 11. Uh -huh. That's the World Showcase used to open around that time. Oh, yeah. So maybe that's kind of what they're going with. <laughs> we're excited. A lot of people. Oh, wow. It is a gorgeous day today. It's literally 60 degrees. It's There's not nice. a cloud in the sky. Nice. It is a gorgeous day. For the first day of the Festival of the Arts. Hopefully we'll be able to get into a line at some point. Yeah, because we're hungry. <laughs> The festival just opened, the booth just opened, so the lines are long today for the first day, that is for sure. Okay, we made it here to France. France booth is always good for all of the festivals, but this is what they got going on this year. The pictures, this is what we're getting the first one, the creme de brie. It's like warm melty cheese in a bread bowl. So good, we've had it before. Or they have a black winter truffle croissant served warmed, chilled lobster bisque mousse served with a dill brioche. And they have a uh, molten chocolate hazelnut cake. Ooh, that looks really yummy. And these are the beverages. They always have a martini. This time it's a frozen French martini, 15 bucks. Great goose and board, pineapple, orange, and grape juice with a lemon lime foam. That sounds interesting. Coming on the first day of a festival is not the funnest. <laughs> the lines for everything are crazy. We can't even find anywhere to eat our brie. <gasps> Those cups look so fun. I think we're going to the good old standby. Trash can? Trash can top. <laughs> Here's a look at the bread bowl. The creamy brie inside. We're going to share it so we can try more things. Look at this line right here. It's for this art stand. Crazy. Super busy today. <gasps> That'd be great. Thank you. Okay. We had a nice family offer up their table when we were finished, so we got over here. But here's our brie bread bowl from the pavilion in France. I forgot the name of the stand, but yeah. I'm excited to try it. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I just try to just do the top. Sure. See what it's about. We love cheese. Oh, yeah. All forms. Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy. It's got a mild, you know, mild brie flavor. flavor. The bread is not, I mean, this is the top, so uh -huh. I should try it and try another part. The top was a little crunchy, but. Ah. All right, one more time. Mm-hmm, okay. It's good, it's crusty like a baguette. It's really nice. 
All right, Kim's giving it a try now. I guess you just like rip it apart. Yeah. I kind of wish it came with something sweet though. You know we love our, Ooh. we love cheese. Like a honey or a jam Yeah, or like a jam something. or something. That's how we like to eat our cheese at home anyway. <laughs> so good. Right? Can't go wrong with bread and cheese. I like, could really can't. I could eat cheese and bread all day. <laughs> we do sometimes. <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay, so we're at the, the booth in between uh, France and Morocco and Canto Cocina, I guess it's called. But they have some delicious stuff here. I also made chorizo, potato empanada, this spicy uh, ayako soup, I don't know how to pronounce it. Passion fruit mousse, they have some awesome drinks, I think I'm going to get this coconut and passion. Uh, passion fruit smoothie, it looks delicious. They also got pina coladas here. I think about getting this soup too, it looks really yummy with chicken, potatoes, avocado, corn. Alright, look at my smoothie, the cup is so, it's so cute. cool. <laughs> It is a coconut and passion fruit smoothie. And you get to keep the cup. It's plastic. That is delicious. So good, right? Wow, look at this soup. There's a whole thing of corn in there, avocado, like sour cream. I'm excited to try. Taco soup. Yeah. With chili, spiced chicken, potato, avocado, corn, and creme fraiche. Mmm, potatoes, chicken. All right, I'm going in. Do it. Ooh. And it's a good day for soup. Like we said, it's in the 60s today, so it's you can actually enjoy it. <laughs> it's like a little kick, a little bit spicy, yeah. but nothing crazy or anything. Yeah. I mean, everything looks There's great a lot of there. avocado. Mm -hmm. I love corn, but this could be messy. It is. <laughs> Did you get napkin? <laughs> it's dripping. Mm -hmm. Dripping. I'm not them. I don't know, but this freaking smoothie. Was it like soaked in all the juices? This thing is where it's at. Woohoo. There's some fun artwork back here where we're table at, where Kim is enjoying her soup. So cute. I love this Spaceship Earth one. I'm sorry about the reflection, but they're just so cool. Power of Terror. Maelstrom, which used to be the Frozen ride. Very, very cool. Orange Bird. Yeah, having a good time. You having fun today, ma'am? I am. I can't help. I've got, we got some jam in My music. soup gone. We're working on this still. Oh my god, it's so good. So I'm savoring good. it. Like, that was only $4.75, mm -hmm. and you get to keep the cup. Like, that's a. I think that's gonna be our bang for your buck today. For sure. You oh, get a like souvenir refreshing. and everything. We're checking out the passport, see what we wanna go to next. Aaron wants the sipping chocolates in America. Can't freaking wait. And my mouth is on fire. Really? With the soup yeah. That's spicy? It's not like bad, but it's definitely. And whew. I did taste her soup, and it was the flavor mm -hmm. is awesome. I'm, mm -hmm. just, I'm not a big fan of like dark meat chicken and stuff like that, but I tasted the broth. Really, really good. Jasmine's doing See, a little cool hello. Kid. If by any chance you had any rum, it would probably go really nice in here. <laughs> Not that we do. <laughs> We're here at the Japan booth. This is what they got going on. Breaded, breaded and fried chicken with yum yum sauce and vegetables. And the sushi donut, both $8.50. I mean, I'm interested in that chicken, but that doesn't look like it's worth $8.50 to me. Maybe we will move on. We got some sake, though. Like a tumor, baby. Oh, so happy they finally brought the drummers yes. back here in Japan. Oh, they're gonna start. Let's watch in for a second. It's been so long since we've seen them. Welcome to the Japan they were gone so long because of COVID.
one of the fun things they have this year is the Animation Academy at 12.30 and 1.30 here in America. They're doing the animation class where they teach you how to draw um, a Disney character. So that's always fun. We've done that several times. They used to have it at Hollywood Studios and they were doing it at Animal Kingdom. Now they're doing it here for Festival of the Arts. So that's really fun. Maybe I can get Aaron to do it. They also have uh, Broadway shows going on here in the evening times, like three different times during the evenings. Uh, it's cool uh, Broadway performances they have. We're over here trying to uh, go to the American booth in the lines all the way out here. There's Aaron all the way at the end. Oh, these lines today are not fun. I'm going to show you the menu though. So here at the artist table, um, they have a beef wellington for $8.50, pan seared scallops, uh, pistachio cake, Ooh, that looks fun. Those are the pictures there. And uh, what Aaron is, Aaron is interested in is the sipping chocolate flight. And these are the different alcoholic beverages. Oh yeah, she'll be getting the chocolate flight with the alcohol. But, and they have a beer flight, it looks fun. Kinda interested in this pistachio cake though. I love pistachio. Okay, rain check on that. That line was not moving and it was so long. We're coming back, so. Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. a few videos here, so be sure to subscribe to our channel if and you wanna see more. I'll leave to look forward to because I have sipping chocolates here. Yes, I told them. Yeah, so I, like, oh, give me, give me a goal. <laughs> we're coming up on the Italy booth here. They also have all these little fun photo, uh, photo ops that you can take here at the Festival of the Arts. You're like in the Scream picture and all that stuff. I know there's like a Mona Lisa one somewhere. Here's the line for the Italy booth. The Italy booth to me is always so expensive and overpriced. I'm sorry. But like their items are $14, raviolis for $13. Like the prices here in Disney are whew, rough. They have a lot of wine, Prosecco, Chianti, lots of delicious beverages. But we will be moving on from this booth. Really pronounces the word. I washed out my cup. Look how cool this cup is. Like, I love it. It's plastic. Do not put it in the dishwasher. It will melt. Don't do it. But yeah, awesome souvenir. It's great for the RV. Won't break. So here by Germany is the Pastoral Palette. A red wine braised short rib, wild boar cousselette, which is duck confit, an opera cake. Here's some of the pictures here. There's some weird stuff. Oh my god, what the heck? What are you I doing? Want this braised beef, Aaron. The picture looks really good on the here. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's good for dinner. But I don't know about this wild boar. Oh, uh, yeah. Then they have some. This looks yummy too. The opera cake. Coffee, buttercream. Yeah. And a chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache. Yeah, they have frozen rosé, a rosé flight. So yeah, you got some good stuff going on. A really long line. A really long line. <laughs> that seems to be the theme here today. You gonna do some spin art? Yeah, you pick four colors. How fun is it? You ride the bike and you just make spin art. And then they can pick it up later too. Yeah. Wow, that's a big one. That seems really fun though. Cool thing to do here at the Festival of the Arts. Finally, a booth here that's not haunted by people that I could actually show some of it off. Because the art here is all amazing. All the booths are all different, all different artists. There's pigment there. How beautiful. I love this one though. This one is gorgeous. See the hidden Mickey? Here's a look at the China booth, the painted panda. I got some chicken shumai for $10.75. The pork bun, that looks pretty good though. They have a bubble tea. Kung Fu Punch. Kung Fu Punch, I think we had that before. It sounds good. <laughs> oh, jasmine, I do like that jasmine beer too. Made it over to the Mexico booth. And that's what they got going on here. Yeah. Garache Verde. The carne asada, that sounds good. Taco de chocolate, that sounds good too. And I got some Mexican beer. The lily, 16 bucks. And a smoky rosemary for 15 bucks. We found the seafood booth, the craftsman's courtyard. They got some uh, 
country pork pate with pistachios. Um, they have some Prince Edward Island mussels, and they have a uh, trout. Nothing that really is interesting to us here. Yeah, it looks beautiful, but I'm not gonna eat any of that. Seafood's not my thing. This has some pretty ones in here. Wow. How cool are these? This guy's uh, painting Donald Duck up over there. There's a good photo spot here. In front of the ball. Aaron, what info did you just find out? We found this, this giant line again okay. that we found, and we we're trying to figure out what it's for. Look at all these people, this giant line. It goes all the way up to... All the way up over there. Basically and back around. And back all the way around. Back over to Pop Eats, where we showed you this morning. Uh -huh. Everyone's waiting for the Figment popcorn, popcorn bucket. bucket. It's an estimated over six hour Six wait. hour wait for the popcorn bucket. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> that I hope you all, if you're, if you're in line, you need to get them. You know, I hope you're staying hydrated, at least without a hot day today. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> Here we are at Deco Delights. And Kim ordered the orange mousse with lemon cake and raspberry meringue. And then we also got the beer flight. Which is going to include the three dollars brewing strawberry ale, the vanilla porter, and the milk stout. Let's let you know how it is. Some pictures. They're all really beautiful. And there's the orange mousse that we're getting. Kim's got the goods. She's got the goods. All right. This is Neapolitan vanilla chocolate and strawberry. Yes. And this is my orange mousse. It looks so pretty. It does. I was looking at the pictures of all the other desserts from there. They look gorgeous. This is why it's a festival of the arts. We got a nice little view here, close to the water. Again, we said it's a beautiful day. It is so awesome Deco. to not be super hot here at the parks. Echo <laughs> Delight. Yes. Yeah, strawberry blonde nitro, a vanilla porter, and a milk stout. Which I guess maybe like the chocolate part. <laughs> Alright, are you going in on your dessert? Well. I'm assuming it goes that way. Here's a spoon! No, oh, napkins are flying away! Okay. I don't know how to eat this. Just do what you want. Oh, I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> Maybe I should just pick it up. There you go. Let's see what it looks like as you get it open. Alright, creamy. Yum. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah, orangey. Do you taste the orange? Yeah, it's just like a little wafer at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Taste it. I need to tell you what. Tell me what you think it tastes like. Okay. Mm. It's like lemon, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. It's like decadent and like nice. And it's cold, like. It's mm. green if you don't know, like, a, like a hot take. Um, this meringue. Oh, that's so good. Wow, this is really good. Right? Very, very good. And then what's this, a little cupcake? Yeah. Cute. You want to try it? I think you might have oh. to bite into that. So bite like, into it. Do the whole thing together? Just don't lose the bottom. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a fun little, this is a fun little dessert. Mm. Definitely lemon, like lemon. Yeah, a lot of lemon. I don't. But do you taste much orange? Day. No. I don't taste much orange. I guess the lemon is a citrus fruit, but mm -hmm. it's very, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm totally pleasantly surprised how good that is. Here's our beer fly. These little dots are even little tart. Oh. You got Sorry, some flavor. I'm still, you're still eating this. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> All right, going strawberry first. Three Daughters Brewing Strawberry Blonde Nitro, St. Petersburg, Florida. I don't really get any strawberry. It tastes good though. What do you think? Katie, it's a little strong. That's strong. the line. Start to test track for a popcorn bucket. That's Six hours for, for the popcorn bucket. This is the vanilla. Rumor, but who knows. Vanilla porter? Yeah. 
Eight One Bay okay. Brewing Company, Vanilla Porter, Tampa, Florida. I don't think I really taste vanilla there either. I'm more of a light beer kind of girl, yeah, so these yeah. beers are a little different. Yeah, it's something you know. We want to try something different. And then the milk. Stout. Ooh, I'm sure this one's pretty good. I like that one better than the strawberry. Oh yeah, this. I don't know. The strawberry didn't taste at all like I. Not that I think it was going to taste like super strawberry for it, but it doesn't really have any kind of like right. in a fruit. I like this one. Playa Linda Brewing Company, Milk Stout, Titusville, Florida. I like that. I like you, that like, you like yeah. stout? That's probably my favorite. Let me try this strawberry again. Okay. That's a little too strong for me. I'll take the middle one. Yeah, this one, I mean, it's good, but it's just, I don't know. I don't get where the strawberry comes into play at all, but I like it. <laughs> That dessert was delicious. So good. Finishing off our Finishing beer plate. it. And Cheers. here's the deconstructed dish booth. Which I'm very curious about. But yeah, same the time. deconstructed dishes are so weird to me. Yeah. Everything's like done separately. But I get they're, they're, they're you know, nice to look at. And this is the art festival. Uh, deconstructed French onion soup. Key lime pie. I don't know. I'm going to see the pictures. Okay. These are the pictures of the deconstructed dishes, the BLT, the French onion soup, and the key lime pie. I don't know, the French onion soup does look kind of fun. I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> this looks, this looks, the setup is beautiful, but uh -huh. I don't know what I'd, if I'd the be a big fan belly. of that giant chunk of bacon that's I don't know. I don't know, but they look, they do look nice. They really do. So one of the other things they have going on here is the uh, wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. If you get any of these um, five dishes and you get the stamps over here, then you get a, um, a completer culinary treat. And it was actually at the booth that we uh, just went to and got the um, orange boost dessert. And it looked like it was in a cup. Um, like a plastic cup like I got my other drink in but a little bit smaller and I think maybe you get a smoothie in it I'm not sure I didn't see I just saw the cups what'd you get Erin it is the beef comb carpaccio it's the blood orange braised beef carpaccio with mustard vinaigrette pickles clamshell mushrooms golden beets and the crostini and it's not something I would normally order but I was like you know what it looks pretty it sounds fun and do you like beets? The line was not long. I do. I don't. They're not like my favorite thing in the whole world, but I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get a little bit of all this stuff. You should put it on the little crouton. That's way smart, right? Yep. <laughs> my first day. Okay. That's really good. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Is it like fresh. It looks yeah. like fresh. Yeah. And the, but the beets are like. Marinated or something like pickled, or you know what? I just realized that one almond like cake I wanted to get is mm -hmm. in the stand that's selling the popcorn buckets, so oh, see, that's not happening. Be, I gotta figure out that situation, yeah. So you can even get if I wanted to get that grilled cheese and tomatoes, I couldn't even get it because that line, the popcorn bucket, is in that same line. It's pretty crazy. This is really good. We have to try it. Uh, Hello. Oh, no, you hate mustard. Never mind. I hate mustard and beets. Uh, no, thank you. I'll eat the crouton. No. <laughs> so we're here at the refreshment port now, and this is where they normally have poutine fries. They do have a traditional poutine all the time, but for the festival, they have this gnocchi poutine with a red wine braised beef, cheese curds, basil, and burrata. This looks so good. You can also get the jumbo chocolate chip painter's cookie too, which is super fun for the kids. They have a blood orange Cosmo for 11 bucks. A little cheaper than the other drinks, not too bad. But oh uh, yeah, we're getting the Noki poutine. Bags. <laughs> you got we just your... spotted the trackers. The trackers Sorry, are behind the trackers us right now. We have not seen them in the parks before, <laughs> so it's exciting. But I got my braised beef gnocchi poutine. It's burrata. Oh no, man! No, no. five second roll. You're gross. I'm gross. Braised beef with the gnocchi and cheese curds. Cheese curds with some like a little basil. <laughs> How was it? The gnocchi are fun. They're like a little crispy, mm -hmm. a little crunchy. I like the beef. Mm -hmm. I know you like that part. I feel like it needs a little more sauce though. How do you eat this? No, I just cut into it. It's basically like more mozzarella, the burrata cheese. Mm. 
Mm, mm, it's that cheese is cold though. Yeah. It's fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much was it? Nine. Nine? Nine. I mean, it definitely, it's definitely a big hearty yeah, portion, I mean, that's for yeah. sure. Especially compared to a lot of the portions today, but... Meh, it's okay. I don't know if I'd get it again. I, I, I wouldn't get, say a must. I'd probably get the um, traditional... Traditional poutine? poutine? Yeah. So what do you think? I like the beef. Is that your favorite part? Definitely all about the meats. Yeah. I've had the... Um, I remember, is it for the holiday of the festival where they do... Um, the sweet potato poutines over in the same one. That is my favorite with the turkey and the gravy and the cranberry. That one was absolutely my favorite. But I mean, this is good. It's different. Yeah, the gnocchi instead of fries. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, if we get it again. Gotcha. Agreed. Aaron's, Aaron's fan going right now with Jen and Tim Tracker. <laughs> We just met the trackers. Good job, Erin. She went over first. <laughs> yeah. They are YouTube royalty here to live. Yes, for sure. But they saw our shirts and said RV on them. They're like, oh, we're going to be running an RV and staying out for wilderness. But like, what? That's so awesome. So that's about RV and stuff. So that was cool. Made our day, made our trip probably. So cheers. <laughs> if you guys see us out in the parks, feel free to say hello. You guys remember who you Okay, so we're back by the um, paint by numbers wall over here and the line's not too long so we're coming over here and we're getting our paint and we're gonna do it number seven this is gonna be the picture yeah wow thank you thank you the little squares on your Six numbers squares. right there okay this is what the mural is going to look like at the end right here okay. so you can come back a little later on and check out the progress. And also, there are bookmarks when you exit, so you can grab you a little souvenir. All right, thank cool. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so my cup is number one. Aaron's is number seven. Lucky number seven. Okay, she told us to go to dot number four, and we're going to paint your number sevens. See the wall? So you got to paint any six of the number seven spots. What color is yours? Like yellow? Yeah. Just don't get paint on your shirt, okay? I make no promises. <laughs> if anybody's going to get paint on themselves, it, it, it would be paint. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Erin. Thanks! You're such an artiste. It's pretty satisfying. Alright, Kim. You're the artiste now. I got number one. And you got like a pretty purple. Yeah, I don't know if you can like see a light it. purple. There we go. Yeah. What's your numbers? One. My number's one. All my numbers. Uno. Are, my numbers are like spread out. You could just do a four down there if you want. Let me come around you because the light. So we can see your beautiful artistry here. Yes, girl, yes. How fun. <laughs> I can't wait to see when it's all finished. It was fun walking by this morning and it was completely empty. And now there's some, yeah, there's some stuff. <laughs> some stuff going on. You think they care if I do more than six? Yes. Okay. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so make sure you don't put this on YouTube where millions of people can watch it. I cheated. You're not very bright. Okay, go get your bookmark, Kim. <laughs> Good job. Oh, there we go. So they even gave you the little bookmark after you finished painting. It's like a starry night at Epcot. Really cool. If you've enjoyed our first day here at the festival, the International Festival of the Arts here at Epcot, we got to try a good amount of stuff. We never really get to see much of the um, music or anything happening today, no. but we will be back. We'll definitely do more. We'll go back to the American Pavilion where I want to get the Beef Wellington and the Sipping Chocolates. Mm -hmm. Looking yeah, forward to doing there's that. There's a lot of other stuff, but the lines were so long that we didn't get to try it there. Yeah. So, yeah. We will for sure be back, hopefully during the week, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll have a better chance of lines being not as crazy and stuff like that. But thanks for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>